What up tech heads and gamers, it's your boy Melo E to Z to the E. Welcome to the channel where we respect the tech and we salute the gamers and we say come on, let's get right into it. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Fossil Gen 4 Q Explorers watch. Um, so this is an upgrade from the Gen 3 and I own the Gen 3 and I really like that watch. Um, so I was really uh, looking forward to this Gen 4 watch. It, I feel like Fossil makes one of the best Wear OS smartwatches. Now this can work uh, for Android and iOS. So if you do have an iPhone you can actually use this device on your iPhone as well. So we're just going to take a look at the build quality. So this is the same watch but this is the smaller band. Again this is 45. I think this is 42. Um, but this is for the wife, this is for me. Um, so let's just take a look at the hardware. So you guys can see all metal design. Um, love it. I feel like Fossil and Michael Core make some really good looking Android Wear um, watch, um, smart watch. But something new that they include in this year is a heart rate monitor down there as you can see. So that's pretty dope. Uh, one of the biggest complaints with this device is um, it didn't run... Um, it didn't have a heart rate monitor so it couldn't keep up with the new release smartwatch so the fact that it does have one that's that's awesome so one thing i like about about this i mean it doesn't really mean much but if you look here these little things they have little wheels that spin which is so this moves right this is what you use to navigate but this right here just for the look of it just moves itself so it's pretty cool that they went the extra mile and then look at the um, holes all around they definitely took time to craft this beast all metal built hard solid metal um, looks good feels good really digging this design for the smartwatch now this is running Wear OS and this is not the newest Wear OS we should begin uh, an update to Wear OS but this is just the same old thing the gen 3 watch ran uh, nothing new they do have some new watch faces which this one I really enjoy um, so if you hold it you can customize six things on here so as you can see you can put three up here actually seven put three down here and then put one up here so if I put like let's say fossil Q so now I click it let's go back so as you can see you have access to one two three things here access to one two three things up there and if you press the middle it's supposed to take you to fitness but yeah I just like this watch face again they added some more um, watch faces as well um, so let's just showcase what the other ones look like. So it's this one. There's this one. There's this one. So some really cool, neat watch faces. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. So again, this is running your typical Wear OS. Um, it, it looks the same. Uh, for all Wear OS platform. The only difference is like the little watch faces that um, the manufacturers put into it. So, and then this has the Fossil Q, which the MicroCore has as well, which you can uh, sync up your social media um, app on here and you can just access pictures through your Facebook um, and I think Instagram, I don't know about Twitter. Um, but yeah, so again, you use this scroll, hit it to go to like all your apps and then scroll up and down to navigate. Same old, same old, um, nothing much. So I really love this screen. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's pretty big um, and pretty vibrant and bright. Look at this, look how the colors pop out. Um, pretty pretty bright screen I really like it I really enjoy it you know a lot of people are like oh the new Apple Watch Gen 4 screen is bigger da 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 personally I feel like this is a lot bit bigger um, and I prefer like a circle around watch face over a square any day but anyway that's just me um, but yeah so something though to notice I don't know if you guys can see it but let me let me go to like an app some so the screen doesn't take the whole like it doesn't take it's not like the Moto, Motorola um, smartwatch what's it called uh, the Moto what's it I can't I can't remember what but the 360 right yeah the Motorola 360 the screen took the whole display right but this doesn't do that and I think the reasons because um, the Moto 360 had that 
bar at the bottom and I feel like uh, for it to have the active display stuff you need some kind of sensor so I think I don't know if I'm right with this but if you look here around the edges um, it's, it doesn't take the full screen around the edges is like a black bar and I think it's for the sensors but anyway it's not that bad um, I, I just wish like the screen would have took the whole screen but I guess they had to fit that sensor uh, el elsewhere um, but let's talk about the new features of the smartwatch stuff that they included here so we now have like I told you guys a heart rate monitor uh, in the back which is awesome so great addition I don't know why they skipped it in gen 3 but that's cool so it's pretty cool if you have it on uh, let me go back to this watch face you see this little um, heart thin here if you tap it it just automatically takes your heart rate which is pretty cool it's a pretty cool feature um, to have on this watch it currently is not on my wrist so it's struggling to get my heart rate but all you have to do is tap it like that and it reads your heart rate which is pretty cool so it's pretty cool that they added finally heart rate monitor uh, NFC payment is also on here too so for those of y'all who use Google Pay or um, Wherever else pay you use, I know this doesn't have Samsung uh, Pay because it's not running ties in the West. So for Google Pay, you can use this um, and just pay it like a, a terminal or you know one of your favorite stores. Um, so that's pretty cool that they have uh, finally NFC payment. Um, they have something called Untethered GPS, so pretty much you don't need your phone um, to um, use to GPS on here this GPS built-in so for those of y'all who use your um, smartwatch to go for runs and stuff uh, just know that um, GPS is on here now um, this custom social uh, is called custom social I think is dial um, but pretty is it's what I was showing you guys with um, with the fossil queue if you come here go to fossil queue right here how you're able to just uh, input your social media and get pictures through your Facebook so that's also in here as well which is cool so they claim that this is swim proof um, I believe it's IP I don't know if it's 67 or 68 but they claim on their website that you can actually use this to go swimming honestly speaking I wouldn't recommend it unless you have an insurance um, something else that they claim about this watch is uh, did I say phone previously? I meant watch. Something I claimed about this, they claimed about this watch is that it has all day battery life. Um, I failed to differ. So you guys can see it's at 65%. And uh, I just unplugged it at 9.15 and it says 65%. So battery life still seems to be an issue for these fossil watch. I think it's because it's running. Um, the old chip, this, uh, from what I'm hearing, it's supposed to be new Snapdragon mobile chip being in development and uh, we still don't have it. This is actually, from what I'm hearing, using the current uh, chipset that the Gen 3 watch ran. So, you know, if, if you're looking for improvement with battery life, the chipset, unless they add a bigger battery, the chipset is just not going to cut it. Um, until we see um, new ship sets but the battery size and um, from what I'm hearing is still the same for this device so battery life is it's it's I would compare it to the OG gen 3 um, which was not the best so don't come here expecting great battery life just being real um, the other thing uh, they also said is that the watch band as you guys know is interchangeable so you guys can change it uh, if you don't like it put different watch band so when it comes to the way this runs it's really smooth like as you guys can see it's really snappy um, there's no lag no hiccups everything works which I find interesting because like I said earlier it's still running the same with the same chipset that the um, gen 3 ran with but as you guys can see here it's very very responsive very snappy um, and I really really appreciate that um, so it's pretty cool now these two side buttons you can uh, custom set and you can make it into um, buttons that you want so I have it programmed to launch Google Fit and I have it programmed to launch workout so you can customize it 
and change it however you want um, so that's the gen 4 um, pretty similar to the gen 3 um, but you know they added some pretty neat cool features so people uh, are wondering like should I update to this if I had the gen 3 I would say for me personally I say heck yeah I don't know there's just something about me smart watches I really enjoy them um, as you guys can tell by the videos I own um, couple of them it's just it's, it's fun I've always dreamt about like a smartwatch so this stuff like really gets me going um, but so yeah but I feel like this checks the box of you know improvements that I want to see from the fossil gen 3 we have a heart rate monitor now we have an NFC um, uh, thin now to where we can use Google Pay we have unfettered GPS where we can use GPS without our phone so all these things are great add addition and of course as you guys can see this is one of the sexiest looking smart watch devices on Android Wear OS and the, the cool thing again is you can use this on Apple devices as well so I would definitely recommend an upgrade if you have the money to um, but my biggest complaint is the battery life. You know, I, 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 I find it interesting that um, most companies are not waiting for the next chipset to arrive. They still, uh, I think Michael Core also just refreshed the smartwatch, which I'll be getting my hands on pretty soon to show you guys what that's all about. But yeah, they're not waiting for the next chipset. They are just all releasing theirs, you know, without it, which I find interesting. Um, but I just, I, I was hoping for better better battery life but that's my only complaint about this apart from that it's a great device um, the price I believe I got it for 279 at Best Buy um, when it comes to price if you compare it to two though the, uh, the price for the Gen 3 I started at, on Fossil for 130 so if price is a huge uh, factor for you guys I would definitely recommend um, going with the Gen 3 because something else is going to be happening is Google is supposed to be releasing I, the next Wear update for this device and the Gen 3 is going to get it too and I feel like once that's released the only difference that this is going to have is the features I added um, and just a different watch face but anyway I highly recommend this if, uh, if financially if you can afford it but if you're looking for a good budget device definitely check out the gen 3 because that's still a solid device but just want to show you guys this other color my wife is going to be rocking this it's going to be a little smaller the battery's dead um, but anyway similar design similar thing just thinner um, but yeah that's my review hope you guys like it. if you do please share this video um, also like it and yeah let me know what your thoughts on this device thank you guys for watching appreciate y'all we'll catch you guys in the next video till next time respect and peace out